was debating whether or not I was even going to ask or admit it, but I'm just going to say it. My legs are tired. <laughs> You're worn out. We played pickleball. By the way, thanks for making the Jeep ride over last night. You're welcome. I had a blast. You and Tiff, y'all are so fun to play with. And I mean, Tiff, she's like a cat on the pickleball court. <laughs> she she like, is kind of like a cat on the pickleball court. everywhere. She's flying she everywhere. Uses like, all wow. that little track speed. Yeah. Uh, but you held your own. You did a I was like, you had some hits. It was good. Well, thank you. Thank you. We, we had fun and uh, definitely there's, worth the drive back over to Siloam to play with y'all. There's this so. whole like a little community that plays. I know. Fills up the courts and we're like, okay, we can go try this. We got invited at SOAR. Somebody was came up and said, hey, you should come join us sometime. We're like, okay. And we did. Right. And we did. It was Ray. Ray is the guy. He's yes, the man. that's right. So shout out Ray. Thanks for Thanks inviting us. Thanks for inviting us for sure. My legs are not as thankful this morning, <laughs> yeah. but it was worth it. Yeah. Well, I was so impressed with just so many people coming out and, and staying as long as they did. And and I can barely walk today, but it was worth it. <laughs> it was like worth every it joint, <laughs> every joint that had any kind of maybe arthritic issue is it's now flaring. Yeah. Screaming at me today, it's but true. that's fine. It's fine. I was fine. It's worth it. And locked in until the ice cream truck drove by. And then at that point, I just Mark, was you distracted. were squirrel all day. <laughs> I, it was hilarious, but I can't say anything because every time I saw puppies in the That's background. That's true. That was your nemesis. I was like, oh, please let a puppy walk by. Oh, there were so many cute dogs out that night. Well, anyways, was well, awesome. we made it. We survived. Um, hey, coming up in about an hour, it's the uh, Wednesday game, the mm-hmm. Battle of Generations. And Mama Jana, your mom, is going to join us I today. Know, I'm so excited. It's be amazing. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. All right. So something pretty cool happened just uh, last week. A school got started with a smiling face and a warm welcome. Pea Ridge School Resource Officer, one of those SROs, Mindy Fowler was making sure that students were staying safe and welcomed them back to Pea Ridge Intermediate School. Now, here's what's pretty cool in the story, because she's one of those that just is all in on loving on the kiddos, mm-hmm. making sure they get out of their family cars safely, everybody gets across the street, you know, wants to make sure everybody's protected. She's been an SRO for six years, and she says her favorite part is the relationship with the kids. So, okay. heart's in the right place. So the right? SRO is a student resource student officer. Student resource officer, yep, mm. exactly. Okay. She uh, told KNWA, I'm able to get really close with them when I get to see them every day. And those high fives, the smiles, the hugs, nothing more rewarding Aww. than what I'm doing. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Now, here's the thing. She actually retired back on May 1st. She said she was gone all summer, May, June, July, and then by the first part of August, there was something in her. She was like, <laughs> I just can't do this. You gotta go back. Uh-huh. Aww. So sure enough, she came out of retirement, and there she was to welcome all the students back. Mm. Um, the cool thing is one of the other um, co-workers there, Madison Holiday, who's a school counselor at the Pea Ridge Intermediate School, said, we couldn't have been more thrilled to have Fowler back. I was so excited to hear because I can't imagine Pea Ridge Intermediate not having her. I can bring concerns or worries to her, and she just goes the extra mile to checking in on and making sure families are okay. It's just so awesome. And that's so sweet. Yeah. So to all those SROs, they have such an important part in keeping our not only families and kiddos and teachers safe, but mm-hmm. those hugs, those smiles, mm-hmm. all and, going the extra mile. And not only do they offer protection, but they also, for so many students, that's students' first really a chance to have a relationship mm. with an officer, mm-hmm. and it develops that positive encounter, yeah. which You're is right. super important. That's really good. That is our positive different story of the day. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC.
So it's Wednesday morning. Um, we're going to get to the Wednesday game here in just a little bit. Battle of Generations. In fact, Lauren is back from the summer break. Good morning. Good morning. She'll be repping the millennials. Uh, Christy's mom, Mama Jana, is going to rep the boomers today, yeah. which will be amazing. Yeah, she'll Exciting. be in here shortly. Mm-hmm. And Chaplain Justin, of course, is here. And it's time for us to do a little chaplain chat. In fact, I heard Monday uh, you were on with the afternoon crew with Robert and Kara. Yes, yeah. And you guys have been doing a little Mental Health Monday Mm -hmm. segment. Lauren, you had a really good question, I thought, too. Yeah, I really enjoyed that segment. They were talking about anger isn't bad in and of itself. It's how we manage it. And I was listening and I thought, you know, I've kind of learned some things that help me, but I have two-year-old twins. And I was thinking, how do I help them manage their anger? Because it's a lot different for littles than it is for adults. And so, Uh um, Justin, I was just wondering if you had any ideas on how I can help them manage their anger when they get all worked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. It's really good. I think first first thing is like we want to keep them contained. Right. (laughs) <laughs> Two-year-olds. We need yeah. to keep them in a space that's safe for them mm-hmm. uh, to go wild. No, but that is that is a, a challenge. You know, it's going to be a while until they learn how to regulate their own emotions. You know, uh, our prefrontal cortex, which we need to regulate emotions the best, doesn't develop until like our early mid twenties. Oh man, we got so, basically time. hopeless yeah. until then. <laughs> but that, that insight is really helpful because we can, you know, little by little uh, learn. But that's really where everything comes online. And so the name of the game, I think, in parenting is co-regulation. Okay. okay. So uh, the steps of regulating emotions, saying noticing I'm feeling something strongly, taking deep breaths to show my to slow my body down, naming the feelings, uh, those kinds of things. I need to be doing that with the little one. It's almost like they're borrowing. Um, say my two little boys would be borrowing my prefrontal cortex to be able to regulate their emotions and come down and slow down with me. Hmm. And so it's not only showing them the steps, even though that's important, but also doing it with them. And your nervous system has to be cooling down and slowing down so that theirs can. Yeah. Which is a huge battle. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I've noticed that my two-year-old boys don't have a ton of words. So whenever I name what I think they're feeling... That seems to help calm them down Mm -hmm. a little bit just to start when I say, you are upset because Mm -hmm. you can't have that ball right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll just go, (sighs) yeah, and they'll nod their head, yes. They can understand more language than they can say at this point. And so Mm -hmm. that does probably connect with them at that level. But also your ability to empathize with them, they probably pick up on that physiologically. Even their brains pick up on what's going on in you. Oh, cool. It helps Mm -hmm. them like, whoo, settle down, yep. Yeah, I have I have a good friend. She's a pretty anxious person. She mm-hmm. struggles with anxiety a lot, and she has a son who struggles with anxiety. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's very anxious, and and I often have wondered if if he does pick up her yep. like mm-hmm. what you're saying that physiological yes uh, yep. like what you're putting off there, and and so anyway, that's a really I never really thought about like we need to self regulate yeah. as much as possible so that they will mm-hmm. just learn to do that yeah, slow down with us yeah, yeah. that's really good because it feels like the prayer is god help me <laughs> so that i can help my exactly. kids or All my grandkids yeah. or whatever because mm-hmm. that's where it starts mm, good stuff thank you chaplain justin you're welcome the klrc morning show with mark and christy klrc it is Wednesday. Time for a little round of the Wednesday game. Battle Woo-hoo! of Generations. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good All morning. Right. Let's start with our secret, I was going to say secret weapon, secret guest today. <laughs> so Sherry, our queen of customer service, is having knee surgery this week, so she's out mm-hmm. for a little while. And stepping in is Mama Jenna, Christy's mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Mama. Thank you. Uh, first of all, and Sherry always sported an amazing hat. I have to say, your hat game is strong today, it is Mama Jenna. It's fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, she Thank looks, you. yes, wonderful. They're so. going to be nice, aren't they? <laughs> um, I, I don't know if the Christy will be. <laughs> but. I mean, Boomers did win last week, so I'm a little torn. Like, yeah. I was going to, you know, take it easy on you, Mama. Right. But that would really? be two, like, losses in a row. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm battling right now in my head. That I, don't, is not, I don't see you taking it easy on anyone either. ever. That is not her nature. I was oh, going to say, has Christy always been 
competitive? Yes. Okay. <laughs> From the womb? Okay. All right. Pretty much. Okay. All right. So Mama Jana will rep the boomers. Christy, of course, will rep Gen X. Mm-hmm. And here is everybody's favorite millennial mama of twins. Lauren is hey back. Guys. Oh, it's so good to be back. I've missed you all in this game. I have missed it so much I was dreaming of different questions to ask. <laughs> like you're because like so having actual <laughs> dreams at night? Mm-hmm. That's like, amazing. Oh, that would be brilliant. That's yes. fantastic. All I'm right. ready. And the twins are good? They are. We had a great summer. They love the water so much. Mm-hmm. It's slightly terrifying. They would jump in the pool if I let them. Just so let them go. they've had a great summer. That's awesome. Aww. All right. And of course, here to keep the peace and keep score is Chaplain Justin. Good morning. All right. I was going to say, this will be really interesting here to your left. I'm I'm prayed up. Okay. All right. Well, first up, um, Lauren, you're in the hot seat. All right. Feeling hot, hot, hot. All right. Your first question this is from the Boomers and Mama Jana. So, this is something Boomers would be more apt to know. This could be anything. In the Rocky and Bullwinkle animated television series. <laughs> I've never seen this, rats. <laughs> Have you seen Rocky and Bullwinkle, Mom? Like, yes. Okay. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. In Rocky and Bullwinkle animated TV series, it often featured adventures with the main antagonists. What was the name of the female friendship spy? Who? A friendship spy? Is she yeah. like an undercover? I guess. Yeah. What? I don't know why I'm asking questions. Like, it's my question. I don't want to help yeah, her Christy, out. Yeah, Christy, do you have what any doing? Insight? Spy. Yeah, let's, let's hear some options. Okay. All right. Your <laughs> options are Natasha, Helga, Greta, or Kalashnikov. What in the world? Wow. Okay, first of all, Mark, the way you just pronounced that last name, that Thank was incredibly you. impressive. I've been working on that since yesterday. I can tell. Is this your question? No. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear him say that word. <laughs> all right, one okay. last time. One your last options. Time. Natasha, Helga, Greta, or Kalashnikov? <laughs> I'm going to go with Greta. I like that name. Okay. The correct answer, the female spy antagonist in Rocky and Bullwinkle was Natasha. Natasha. That is a point for Mama Jenna on the board out of the gate. You know, Mark, if you do get a new puppy, you and Tiff, I think Uh you should name it Kalashnikov. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, thanks. (laughs) It just rolls off the tongue. I think it's perfect. brutal. (laughs) All right. It's a lot of consonants. Isn't that a Russian firearm? (laughs) I think it might actually be. Wow. Yeah. All right. Your second question is from Christy, so this is something Gen X would more okay. have to know. So last week, Christy's son, Mac, made a comment that he thought that intern Ross had a crush on a girl that he was talking to while they were all eating at Chick-fil-A. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The scandal. Breaking news. This is fantastic. Keep going. Christy asked Mac why he thought that. Mm-hmm. And he said that he noticed Ross kept getting lost in her eyes. Oh, Mac. That, that was Mac's quote. I'm not kidding you. So sweet. He what said, a my grandson said that. He did. <laughs> yes. He said he kept getting lost in her eyes. Like he would be just dazing off looking at her while she's talking. And then it was like he would snap out of it. What kind of movies have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Mom. That's I a know, fair that question, Mama Jenna. Old? I know, but he noticed. He noticed. <laughs> Maybe Mac is a romantic. Maybe so. I think so. Yeah. All right. Is there a question? Or? Immediately, that <laughs> triggered Christy's memory of one of her favorite 80s singers who sang a song called Lost in Your Eyes. Okay. Who is the singer of this song? What a leader. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, totally not sequitur. All right. So who sang Lost in Your Eyes? Is it Debbie Gibson, Cindy Lauper, Belinda Carlisle, or Paula Abdul. Oh goodness, I don't know this one at all. So we're gonna get to take another, another shot, shot in the dark. In the dark. Right. Do you know any of those singers though? Those yeah, singers? yeah, yeah. I've heard of them, but yeah, I don't know this song at all. Do you all want right. me to play a clip? I would love to hear a clip. I can just picture Intern Ross right now. Okay. Yeah. 
That's, That's something. That's beautiful. I know. Right. She's an amazing voice. Lost in your eyes. Was it Debbie Gibson, Cindy Lauper, Belinda Carlisle, or Paula Abdul? I'm going to go with Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Good guess. It is Debbie Gibson. Oh, Debbie. Oh, you sound beautiful. Chaplin Justin, score update for us. We have boomers with one, Gen X with one, and millennials with zero. All right. Mama Jana, we're going to put you in the hot seat next. Uh-oh. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. It's round two of the Wednesday game, Battle of Generations. Christy is repping Gen X. Woohoo! Our queen of customer service, Sherry, had surgery this week, so she's going to be out for a few weeks. If you think of it, you can pray for her. And in for Sherry repping the boomers is Mama Jana. Christy's mom is hanging out with us. Yes. Hey, Mama. Uh, hey, Christy. <laughs> All right. That's and of fantastic. course, uh, <laughs> Lauren is here to uh, rep the millennials. Oh, yes. And Chaplain Justin with the score update for us. We don't have to. You know. <laughs> with one, Gen X, one, millennials with me. Okay. All right, Mama Jana, you ready? I'm ready. We're going to put you in the hot seat. All right, your first question is from Lauren. So this is something the millennials would know. Mm -hmm. Right on Track was a Disney Channel movie that told the story of two sisters doing what sport? Right on Track. Right on Track. Is that correct? Mm Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of that, Mom? No, me either. (laughs) All right, we'll give you options. Maybe something will stand out to you. Okay. Okay. Was it horse racing, motocross, relay race, or drag racing? Mm, Ooh, that one's tough. That's a hard question. So you you want to know what they were competing? Correct. So it was two sisters Mm -hmm. doing a competing in some sport. Yep, it was a movie about them doing this sport. Are the millennials screaming in their cars right now? They know the answer. Because they all know. Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. All right. Were the two sisters horse racing, motocross, relay race, or drag racing? Mm-hmm. What kind of race? Yes. It's definitely <laughs> Thank you, a race. Thank you, Justin. Yes. Yeah. Very prophetic that, of you. That's right. Genius. That's, that's very clever. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, gosh. Mama Janet, you want to just take a shot in the I dark? I am. I'm going to okay. have to take a shot. Um... I think relay racing. Oh, it's really close. It was drag racing. Oh, I said drag racing. Oh, oh, I know. That happens That's to me exactly every time. That's exactly what Christy says. I know. <laughs> she says that all the time. You know, Mom, always go with your gut. You taught me that. <laughs> yes, I did teach you that. <laughs> all right. That is a point for the millennials who yes, are on the board. On the board. <laughs> all right. Mama Janet, we got another chance for you to get. Mm, okay. okay. This is going to be a mother-daughter battle here. So this is something Gen X would be more apt to know. A question from Christy. In the 80s, there was a movie that Mama Jana would not let Christy see. This is oh my gosh. It sounds <laughs> just like me and my dad. coming out here. <laughs> yeah. All the, the root issues of, of my life right here. I started to say I have the anger I can tell. <laughs> I'm feeling right. it. L- little Christy could not watch this movie. Yes. Dirty Dancing was a box office hit starring Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. One of the most famous lines and lamest lines in the movie <laughs> true. is where Patrick Swayze walks over to Jennifer Grey and says, Nobody puts baby. And what is the rest of the line? Oh, I know this one. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Oh, oh no! Yeah. 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 Right. Didn't even need options. What that, that tells me is Mama Jana was watching <laughs> Dirty Dancing. It's <laughs> not Christy. <laughs> It was after uh, your bedtime. Mama Jana watched it quite a few times. Oh, oh. <laughs> All the That's confessions. So the confessions are coming out. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. All right. That is a point for the baby boomers. All right. Chaplain Justin, score up. Yeah, boomers 2, Gen X 1, Millennials. All right. Final round is coming up. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. It's the final round of this week's Battle of Generations, the Wednesday game. Uh, Lauren is here, everybody's favorite millennial mom of twins, uh, with one point. Is that right, Chaplain Justin? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Christy, of course, is repping Gen X with one point. 
And in for Sherry, the queen of customer service, Mama Jana Christie's mom is here. With, with two, two points. points. In the lead. <laughs> she crushed that last question. She did. Yeah, she owned the hot seat. Well done. Okay, all right. So final round, that means Christy, mm-hmm. you're in the hot seat. Okay. Here's your first question. This is from Lauren. So something that millennials would be more apt to know. Which Disney star? Oh man, I already, I'm already out. <laughs> I'm so, there was a lot of Disney. She in my knows house. it's about me. This is she, a weak she's area going of for yours. the jugular. My my Achilles. I mean, she's not doing Veggie Tales. That's true. All right, here we go. Which Disney star released a self-titled album a year after? Her 2003 pop debut, Metamorphosis, which featured hits like So Yesterday and Coming Clean. Oh, I've heard of Metamorphosis. Like, I mean, I've obviously the term, but <laughs> I've heard of... <laughs> <laughs> what happens to caterpillars? <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but I haven't heard of this album. Well... No, I think I have heard of this album. Hold on. What are my what are my options? 2003. Was it Raven Simone, <sighs> Hillary Duff, mm. Christina Aguilera, Ooh. or Ashley Tisdale? Oh man. This is tough. Mom, I do you have know this? I have no one? idea who these people are. I'm gonna have to guess. Okay. okay. No. Oh man. I I just I just don't know. Um I mean Christina Aguilera. She's out of all of those. She's been the most popular singer. Whoever gets this will tie Mama Jana. By the way, I'm just gonna go with Christina. You're gonna go with Christina Aguilera. Yeah. In 2003, Metamorphosis was by Hillary. Ah! Yes! Man! Wow! I would have guessed the same, Christy. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for that support. If that makes you feel any better, it does. <laughs> I feel so uh, loved. That's a point for the millennial. <laughs> okay. All right. So two for the millennial, two for the boomer, and Christy's in the back, we'll yeah. just say. Yeah. Coming from so behind. Th- this will be for a this three-way tie. This will be a tie. three-way tie. Otherwise, Mama Jana takes home the cheese medallion. Ooh. Okay. So this is from the boomers. Yep. Okay. All right. Here's your question from Mama Jana. So something boomers would be more apt to know. In households across America... The King Edward Imperial Cigar Box had a common what? use other than holding cigars. What, what else was it used <laughs> in for? In the world. This is the most random thing I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> By the way, shout out to uh, Sherry who provided the question for us I today. I started to say Mama Jana would not have done that to you. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm definitely going to need options on okay. this. King Edward Imperial Cigar Box were commonly used for what? Was it storing photos? Storing new school supplies, mm. storing spools of thread, mm. or storing stickers. What in the world? Interesting. This is bizarre to me. Very thrifty. I know yeah. this one. Mama D, I was going to say, do you know the answer? Of course she does. Oh my does. goodness. Um, <laughs> this I is, think. <laughs> this would be a win for the boomer if she stumps you on this. I mean, I could see this. boomers storing yarn. Um... I could see using them as school boxes, but, um, I mean, stickers, I don't know. What was the very first one? Storing photos. Or photos. I wonder if there's something about the tobacco or a cigar that would preserve photos. Does that even make sense to anyone? Anyone? Hmm. No, but it's a nice idea. I think they would fit nicely. I will say it's been difficult to watch you flounder. Oh. Questions des- desperately. Mom, can you do something about that? The with chat lady's empathy. picking on me. Uh, no, you're on your own. Oh, man. She's all grown up. That's right. Mama's not coming to the rescue. Let's go with random school supplies. I don't know. Okay. Are you confident? I mean, should I be? <laughs> I'm just making sure, because uh, if Mama Jana stumps you on this, it's the win for the boomers. Otherwise, that would be two boomers it's a three-way in a row. tie. I, I'm, I'm going to go with it. School supplies. Okay. Storing new school supplies? Yeah. The correct answer is sc- storing new school it is? supplies. Are you kidding me? Wow. 
Because they didn't have correct. school boxes back then. Yeah. The OG pencil box. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. That I am was shocked. the biggest shot in the dark ever. That is. They send their kids with school supplies and cigar boxes? Mm-hmm. Just like, hey, mm-hmm. check this out. I mean, mm-hmm. doesn't that promote smoking cigars? No, it didn't. No. <laughs> I could decorate them, you know, cover them with paper and all that stuff. That's good. All right. We have ourselves a three-way tie. (laughs) Should we do like a Gen Z zinger or something? Uh, I have something new for us this time. Okay. Uh, A little question from the greatest generation. What's that? The before the boomers, oh. so for something from a hundred years ago, nineteen twenty-four. What? Oh my goodness! Okay, is okay. it about the Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. It's coming up. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ninety point nine KLRC. So we're in overtime of the Wednesday game today. Mm. Mama Jana, Christy's mom, has been filling in for. Sherry, the queen of customer service. Well done today, by the way, Mama Jan. Thank you. She Held looks her own. fabulous. She's <laughs> answering the questions Absolutely. Well. Inspiring. Yeah. Christy had to come <laughs> back at the last minute to force a three-way tie. Yeah, that was shocking. <laughs> Hey, good guess, Christy. Thank you. Look at that. There's still that mom kindness yeah, coming through. Right. Look at that. Yeah. So proud. All right, I'm, so we I'm, are going to do... I'm extra sweet when my mom is in the room. I just okay. want everybody to I'm know I'm starting that. to say I've noticed a little difference. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're, you're I'm, definitely I'm having an effect. I'm, 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 Mama's yeah, checking up on you. She's on her best behavior today. Right? Okay, so the tiebreaker question comes from the greatest generation. All right, so this is... Uh, is it a Gen X question? No. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. No. Her greatest. No, it's a boomer question. The, bo- oh. the boomers oh. think they're the greatest. <laughs> Gen X. This is the problem with old people. They all <laughs> think they're great. They just haven't well, identified I mean, their self worth. You know. Yes. I mean, look at me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You said it yourself. Great. I'm fabulous. happy. You know, great. I mean, hey. <laughs> All right. What's the actual greatest The greatest generation was born from 1901 to 1924. Well, that would not be me. Okay. (laughs) All right. So this is a question from 100 years ago, 1924. Okay. Wow. In 1924, what was the cost of a gallon of milk? Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoever gets the closest will win. Oh, man. I'm trying to. Right now, a gallon of milk is like I don't know, three sixty or something. It's expensive. Like the rate we're going tomorrow will be like forty dollars. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's just on my favorites list in my Walmart app. So. <laughs> you just don't even look. I don't <laughs> just even, automatically I don't even want to it. know. I just know we need That's it. That's a millennial right there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, and we're not allowed to have our phone, so we can't Google. That's no, right, Mom. Yep, exactly. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, Gosh. everybody, writing down your answer. 1924, no. Oh, no? No, you just got to take a guess. Fill in the blank. 1924, the cost of a gallon of milk. This is a trick question. It's probably free. (laughs) No, it was was not free. They're giving it away. (laughs) Got all these cows. Right. Still democracy. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Why don't we start with... We'll start with the millennials. Lauren, cost of a gallon of milk, what say you? Five cents. Five cents. Yep. Okay. Gen X. Christy, cost Um, of a gallon of milk. Wow. I wrote a dollar. A dollar. Okay. So maybe that's too much. All right. Well, you don't get to change it. You wrote it down (laughs) in pen. I'm (laughs) scribbling it out right now. I'm watching. I'm watching. All right, Mama Jana, (laughs) what did you say? Three cents. Three cents. So you had five. A dollar. I feel like I'm out. And three cents. The correct answer was 54 cents. Oh, really? That barely by one oh, cent gosh. is a millennial yes. win. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Yep. Oh, right. She was 49 cents off. Yes. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. you know what, Lauren? It's been a while since you won. <laughs> So I'm I'm actually think this is a I good thing. I believe this is my first time here this this season. So I believe it's a one and done that I have yeah, I have won. I just can't believe you would like come in here and beat my mom like that, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm it's thinking fine. those twins she's gotten some kind of uh, vibe maybe from so. them while mm-hmm. they're in. Maybe, maybe I think so. Mama Jana looks fabulous yes. enough. Like thank you. We're sweetie. set. 
Yeah. yeah. We're set. First Aww. of all, Mama Jana, thank you. You're yeah. welcome. We're going to invite you to come back anytime. Okay. We have had a blast. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Christy? Yes. Nice competitive? That's fine. <laughs> It's fine. And congratulations. The cheese medallion goes to the millennials. Well, maybe Mama Jana will take us all out to lunch. Yes, I can do that. (laughs) It's all fine. KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. And a look at your weather. Happy birthday. This is just so exciting. Four birthdays. This party going. <laughs> This is your birthday song. That. It is a very long. Hey, happy birthday. Welcome. That's what happens when Mark pushes the button too fast. <laughs> it is going to be gorgeous today. It is. High in the mid 80s, lots of sunshine. All right, let's do the marketplace grill. <laughs> if you're having a birthday, birthday today, bath. you have a yes, gorgeous day gorgeous ahead of you. Day today. <laughs> All right, it is Wednesday, August the 21st. And celebrating today is Noah Savage turning 11. How about that for a last that name? That is a great I know. Great he name. is savage. <laughs> and uh, also, Olivia Hodge and Gentry having a birthday. And Michael Bond in Springdale. Yes, indeed. All right. So the randomizer is going to pick a winner for us. Pretty good odds today. Just three names yeah, in the randomizer. No kidding. All right, Olivia Hodge and Gentry, we're going to set you up with a gift certificate to celebrate with our friends at the Marketplace Grill. Woo-hoo! 